Hey, hey, what's up, fellow model train enthusiasts? This is Lone Wolf 777, broadcasting from his home in California. Uh, I picked up this nice locomotive from the Costa Mesa Train Show of 2020. I wanted to show you all what it looks like. And uh, for those of you who are guessing, is that a Bachman? Yes, it's a Bachman. Um, I'm not a particularly big fan of Bachman, but uh, other steam locomotives that were there just uh, were way too expensive. They were mostly brass. I couldn't find any steam locomotives that were in the Santa Fe and what I wanted, so I pretty much opted for the one that I could pretty much afford and get my hands on a little more readily. So this particular locomotive is a 282 consolidation steam locomotive owned by the Santa Fe Railroad Company. Uh, this was part of their 2500 class, but I've been doing a lot of research. And I can't find anything about a 2500 class uh, steam locomotive, number 2508. I'm not even sure if the 2500 class existed, but uh, for all I know, they could have. But I can't find photographs of it, so I have to rely on what is in front of me. So that's the sad part. I like to buy locomotives that I know existed in the Santa Fe locomotive fleet and had pictures to back them, uh, to back them up. Anyways, uh, enough of that. Let's pull the locomotive out of the box, but let's go over how much I paid for it. So the MSRP here is $349 plus tax. That would be $350, probably $351. The sale to, uh, total was $254.77. Uh, so $254 plus 77 cents. So that was a pretty good deal. I got a huge discount on it uh, when I went to the train show. So that makes it easier for me. Plus I don't have to pay shipping and handling, which makes it twice more expensive and bumps that price back up to $349, which we all hate. Okay. Now, let's, uh, oop, be extremely careful. Let's grab the locomotive. There we go. And don't worry, it did come with instructions. I just took them out of the box because I just don't want to get over the box too much. Okay. <clears throat> now, this is the cool thing. I didn't think this was possible, nor did I think uh, Bachman would do this. Bachman's known for the cheap, cheap and easy toy look. I'm not about that. And there you go. You got a walkway now. Hooray! I didn't think they would do such a thing. That's pretty cool. All right. Anyways, enough about that. That's one. That's one point up for Bachman. We're gonna start out with uh, 200 possible points. So now they got 201 points. If I start seeing things that I don't like, I'll take it away. Now, this particular locomotive. Um, again, it's a Bachman. Uh, it's part of their sound value line, so it does have DCC on board. I tried it out. It's nothing but awesomeness. Uh, but unfortunately, it has some running issues and some sound things that I would rather take care of. But it, it's okay for the most part. It's a very solid performer um, once you get it up and going. Now, this is particularly a coal burner, okay? So you can see all that fake coal right there, but yeah... Anyways, uh, there's no backup lights on the tender or anything like that. Santa Fe was always big on doing stuff like that eventually when they started removing just the 20 or just actually starting to add the Santa Fe right here where the tender's uh, little lip would be and the 25 would stay exactly where it is, but they'd probably make it a little smaller. Uh, but yeah. And here's their AT and SF. Very good. You got other various piping details here, here. Uh, you got the air brake pump right here, George Westinghouse. Uh, you got the eight driving wheels. One pilot wheel up front here. You can see that right there. Uncoupling cut levers. Very impressive Bachman. 
you're starting to get a little more sophisticated, Bach. And I go, I'm very happy for that. Okay, so you got the 2508 and then the 2508 on the headlight itself. It is an LED headlight. It's very awesome. Uh, there is a bit of a light bleed issue, though, on somewhere behind it. I, I have to go back and paint that up just a little bit. But I'm not, other than that, it's fine. Uh, you got a McHenry-style uh, coupler here. I, re I had to... I had no choice but to replace that with another McHenry style coupler, and I hated doing that because I tried installing a KD-158 coupler here, and that just didn't work for some reason because of the possible boxiness on the end of the coupler. So what I'm going to do is is I'm going to try to find one online, and I'm going to try to buy that and add that with a little more realistic look. Okay, some other various details here, some, uh, <clears throat> you got the bell, okay, you got the whistle, you got the steam dynamo, you got the steam dome, you got the sand dome, you got the funnel, oh, right here, uh, builder's plate, right there, other various piping detail, you got the cab figures, both fireman and engineer, which is pretty cool. And that pretty much sums it up. Um, so my major issues with this particular locomotive is that the sound value system really just is kind of lacking a lot of functions in the function department. Okay, uh, I'm not trying to say that it's bad or anything. It's it's definitely sound value. Uh, for $254 of sales price, I think that's exactly where it needs to stay, uh, in my opinion, because it's just god-awful when you have to find a particular locomotive and then it just doesn't have all the bells and whistles you want on it. But it does have three playable whistles. Three. So you can actually switch that up. I did install a KD-158 coupler at the rear, though, and it's level with all the other uh, particular cars that I've installed. So... That's, that's good. Um, now, I'm going to take points for this. How many? 50. Let's go with 50. Okay? Now, I did not like having to take a wire that was hanging so loose and way too low to the, to the track bed that it could actually easily get caught on something and then stop the locomotive. I didn't like doing that. And I'm going to take 50 points for that because that's just unacceptable in my terms of railroading. Um, I shouldn't have to tape something closer to the, you know, locomotive's frame just to get its run right. That's just unacceptable. Um, so, Bachman, I hope you get that figured out because, man, that just irritates the living crap out of me when you have to do that. All right, uh, let's see here. I'm going to take another 20 points for the sound, not particularly playing right when I run the locomotive at high speeds. For example, when I blow the whistle at high speeds, like at 99% track speed, uh, it doesn't play. Uh, it just does the chuffing sounds, and I don't hear the whistle when I play it. So that's 20 points right there. <clears throat> I think that's pretty much it for now. Uh, so let's go over the calculations here. We t we gave the locomotive 200 possible points, right? So let's take away 50, then another 20, and you got 130 points left. Uh, and then you got the 100. Uh, you got the one extra point for me being able to, you know comment on one of the earlier comments that I made about this locomotive when we started the video. So, in all total, we have 131 points. That's not bad. But, uh, definitely, you know, there's definitely some things that need to be fixed. Uh, I would still recommend this locomotive to people who would want to start out with locomotives like this and then move up. Uh, it's not almost toy quality standard, but it's, it's close to model standards. Uh, I think 
Bachman's on the right track. They're making some efforts to try to make their model trains a little more realistic looking, but they still have a long way to go. Mechanically, they need to work on that still a little more. I'm not taking any points for the motor, but uh, it does have a bit of a jerkiness when it's at one to two, three speed steps. So I would strongly recommend to Bachman that you get on that and still work on that as much as you can because that's a huge irritation for me. All right, I'm going to stop talking and I'm going to let you see a sample of the videos that I took of this locomotive running. And you can be the judge of that later. All right, Lomo Triple Seven, signing off. See you down the rails. Peace out. If you got any comment, if you got any questions, throw them down in the comment section. If you got the ability to share this video, share the video. Hit that like button and subscribe. Peace out.